Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. Today we are back at Hogel Zoo. You can see an elephant behind me. We're here with my sister Holly and her kiddos and uh, just enjoying the sunshine. I don't have sunglasses, so this is what I'm doing. But we're just enjoying the sunshine and enjoying having an outing again. We've got Kenzie, Sienna, and cousins. Really? Oh. Sienna, who's on my shirt? I'm at Coco. You see Coco saw my shirt when I came out of preschool and was like, Coco! Yes. Is there Coco on my shirt? Yes. Who's on your shirt? Elsa and Anna? Okay, we're in the elephant part. It's really cool because I'm not sure what this stuff in the air is. I think it's from like Russian olive trees. And it's just like falling. Kind of looks like snow almost. Kind of cool. And I'm really glad I took my allergy pill today. <laughs> what do you guys think? Oh my gosh, the lions are right here. Kenzie, what do you think? You're like two feet away from the lion. Oh, and there's two more right there. Oh my gosh, they're all so close. Wow. Sienna, Sienna, what do you see right here? Oh my gosh, that's so cool. They're so close. Like, look. Right here, it's almost like we're close enough to pet them. Oh my gosh, oh, so cool. Whoa, look in the background, you can see giraffes and then the lions are moving around. So cool. We've got these cute little wild animals. What does an owl say, Kenzie? Look at this cute little owl. Hi, Just owl. sitting in a basket. See if I can see. Hi, owl. So cute. Okay, look. We have some monkeys over here. We'll focus. They're not our monkeys. Oh my gosh, that one's laying down. They're not monkeys? I said they're not our monkeys. Oh, okay, they're not our monkeys. Oh, look, this one's right here. Sienna, where's the monkey? Oh my gosh. Look at that one, just taking a snoozer on the rock. Oh my goodness! These are Columbus monkeys, it says. And over here there's a spider monkey somewhere. Oh, really? Kenzie found the spider monkey! Oh look, there's another one back there! Let's zoom out a little bit. Good find, Kenz! Way to go! Do you see the spider monkey, Sienna? Okay, we found a peacock. Kenzie, what does this peacock remind you of? The peacock reminds you of Mira. Okay, we're back at the otters. This part's always fun. I love when there's like a water display like this that you can see them swimming. I don't know if I can see them yet. Maybe he'll come over. Oh, look, 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 there it is! There it is! Look! They never look as it's coming by. Oh my gosh! Look, there's another one! Oh my gosh! And it's gone. It's gone. <laughs> So Holly and I were both laughing because this is the second time now that we've been to the zoo and the otters will be right in front of our kids and right when the otter comes they'll like they'll turn their head and her eyes were just like not looking at it for some reason they cannot look at the otter like when it's right in front of them they're like that's right when they turn around it's just so funny and it's always like this really quick thing that we're like look there they are and it's just hard. It's just hard to get to get it. Those magical, slippery little otters. Okay, so right now we're in the what? What part is this called? Is this like the? Um, it's the part with the tigers. 
Expedition Everest. It reminds us of the part at Animal Kingdom with Expedi Expedition Everest. How cool, we almost walked right by it. So it's just laying here, so serene. And there's no one around us right now, so we get to look at this leopard all to ourselves. So cool. Uh-oh, wow, that's cool. Kenzie, do you wish you could pet the belly? Yeah. I wish I could give, oh, give, give it a little belly rub. Here's another part where sometimes you can see a tiger swimming in here, but again, we don't see any tigers today. I love your singing. What are you writing? I'm writing. You're writing a meerkat? Oh my gosh, we just barely walked in the house from the longest drive home from the zoo and Kellen had dinner, all laid out, ready to go. Oh my gosh, so hungry, so grateful, so nice. And I think Rufus can smell it. Rufus, you waiting for something yummy to fall? I also wanted to show you guys, but I wanted to show you this lipstick. Um, I've had my eye on this brand for a while. And so I got some new lipstick. Um, it's really cool. <laughs> This is not your average lipstick, I have to show you. Okay, so this is the brand, it's called Winky Lux. And this one is called Lavender Confetti. Are you ready for this? Ready, ready? Guys, it's confetti lipstick. And it's not focusing, so I'm gonna flip it around. It is amazing, don't mind dinner in the background. But holy cow, I'm like scared to use it because it's so immaculate. Like it's so perfect and it's a lip stain and all the reviews were amazing for it. So, oh my gosh, I'm gonna try it. It's so pretty and it smells amazing. And it's cruelty free, so okay, here we go. It's like super duper soft. Feels like chapstick. Ooh, that's kind of dark. I feel like that's amazing. How is that so dark for like a clear, like I know it's has color, but it's see-through. So I'm really surprised. <gasps> Ooh, I love it. And I swear it smells like roses. Oh my gosh, too good to be true. I can't let my girl see this. <laughs> Gotta put this somewhere special. I really like that color. Okay, it is many hours later, but we've been waiting for the spe special oh, package to come. Mommy. Sienna's been waiting to see what's coming from the Disney store. Okay, what is it, Sienna? It can be a toy. kids are starting to go to bed, so I'm gonna be talking really quiet. Um, but I was so glad Kellen picked up dinner because I was really tired. Um, <laughs> so the zoo kind of ended crazy for us because it was hot, I didn't bring a stroller, and so my kids were trying to climb into Holly's stroller that she brought because she's prepared and my kids usually hate being in the stroller, and I think it was just so hot this time. That's what they wanted to do. So they were like fighting over the stroller, and I ended up giving Kenzie a piggyback ride like I did last time. You remember in that video? How I was giving her a piggyback ride and carrying her stuff. Anyway, I feel like it was just kind of a hot mess at the end. <laughs> Not Holly. Holly was keeping it together, but I feel like I was like just hot, and my kids were done, and uh it just kind of ended like that, but that's okay because outings with kids are hard. Like they just, they just are hard. I know for some people they have like four, five, six kids in tow and they're just like going on these outings and I, I don't know, for me, 
my two kids, it's just, it can be kind of difficult, but it's always still fun. We always come back and I'm happy that we got out. And so it's not like the outings are perfect and I'm not like expecting it to be the whole thing is perfect for hours because life isn't perfect. Um, but we still had fun and I'm still really happy that we went. I, I love outings, even if they're hard to do. So um, I just feel like it's, it's like four kids with me and Holly, but it's always so fun going with Holly just cause you know, it's just like sister time and it's great. Um, but our four kids together <laughs> can be kind of just like demanding at times. And it's a lot of walking. It was one stroller uh, with four kids. And uh, I thought I was doing so well because I had snacks and water and band-aids. And you just can't always plan for everything. And I wish I would have brought my stroller. So next time I'm bringing the stroller. Um, but yeah. It was, it was good to come back, have dinner, like ready to go because it was kind of a long outing and I would have been really tired if I was like, okay, and now I gotta go prep dinner. So that was really nice of Kellen. And then um, I was able to sneak in a load of laundry and a load of dishes, which I did not feel like doing at the end of the day when I just wanna like relax and, you know, eat. Um, a Greek yogurt bar. I'll have to show you guys. That's my new favorite treat. Anyway, um, I'm always really grateful for Kellen because he just seems to like know what I need and is helpful and you know like when he's grabbing dinner it's just like I don't know it's just really helpful. You have to have be able to do that. Whoa Rufus! Loud much? <laughs> In the background of every blog he's just like <sighs> That's just kind of how pugs breathe and he's so old. Whenever I start vlogging, these two, they're so funny. They always come and sit there. It was a good day. I'm gonna go eat my favorite new healthy treat. Let me show you. Okay, so I didn't even know these existed until recently. Um, they're called Greek yogurt bars. Guys, they're good. I don't know if it's because I was off treats for a little bit and so when I had this I was like oh my gosh but it's a lot better than ice cream like health wise you know than just like downing a whole thing of Ben and Jerry's and I think they're delicious and yummy look at all these flavors um, I've tried this one and this one I haven't tried these two but that one looks amazing so anyway I feel like that's a good sort of like compromise because it still tastes good it still tastes like ice cream which for the record i love ben and jerry's and most ice cream <laughs> i just found myself eating a lot of it and i think quarantine was just one of those things that was just like it, it was stressful and just there's been a lot going on in the world that's very stressful and sometimes you turn to comfort foods and for me eating ice cream just was like it's just so nice to do at the end of the day and like unwind so for now I'm just going to switch to you know try to do the healthier habits whether it's like anyway just little habits throughout the day so um let me know what what you guys what's your favorite treat at the end of the day I don't know why it has to be at the end of the day for me like I'll have treats all day long but there's nothing like when the kids are in bed and you get to relax for a minute and eat a treat. Anyway, thanks for watching today's adventure, today's vlog. Um, I feel like sometimes it's just like all over the place, but that's real life and that's how today was, but it was a lot of fun. So anyway, we'll see you guys on another home vlog or live stream very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye guys.